It's running now, so here we are at uh, the Mutu River Hotel, and we've got a wee foot patrol coming up. Strathclyde's finest, having a wee day off. And we have Murray of the family, Phillips. Hi, Murray. Guys, I'm here today to ask a few questions here. As a concerned member of the public, I'm going to be engaging with a couple of constables here. So if you'd just like to come with us, we're going to exercise our rights. Hi, guys. Hello. Any chance of us a wee word, you guys? I'm Murray Phillips. I'm an advocate for all the law. So I'd just like to ask you guys a couple of questions. Over here? Yeah, no problem. Is that on the public in there, guys, or that private property? Because I've got a right to be in a public place. I don't have a right to be in private land. So can we just stay on the public if you don't mind? That's fine. It's all okay, aye. aye. Listen, I'm not here for, to cause any trouble. I'm here, I'm a lawful man. Right, a lawful man. That's right. So we're over there just to keep it. Absolutely, but we will be getting recorded if you don't mind. Oh, right, what are the calls? For your safety for mine, you know, it's my right to do so. So as long as you guys are all right with that, you know. Basically, again, right, so I'm Murray Phillips. I'm an advocate of common law, and I'm here as a concerned member of the public, right? A lot of people have been put up in these hotels that the public parts are paying for here in the UK, up and down the UK. Now... I don't have a correct understanding, that's why I'm here today to try and find out. Can you guys give me any answers to what the, what's the purpose of these people in these hotels, particularly this one, and I'm speaking on behalf of the people of Scotland and Erskine in particular here, can you give me any answers regarding what purpose these people that have been put up in the Mutu Hotel is? Well, they're, they're asylum seekers. Right. Okay. It's a place to, it's a place to live. Right. Asylum seekers. Now, it came to my attention again in here and also up and down the country that it's majority is young, fat males. Now, I don't know if you guys are aware, but there's a lot of people talk and there's a lot of coverage of and a lot of suggestions being made that we're facilitating guys with young, fat males, military age. There's a lot of worried and concerned members of the public that this is some kind of operation where there's Military facility, this can be used as a military facility. You know, is there, is there been any signs of any kind of training or any kind of military activity? As I say, I, I'm asking this on and for the public record. There's two guys that are sworn enough to uphold the law and they serve and protect the people. You know, so that's why I'm here on and for the public record here. There's a lot of members of the public up and down the UK that are becoming alarmed and distressed about these rumours that are going to that this is the UN Army being trained for the UN Army in case there's another pandemic with martial law getting declared and all the rest of it that's why I'm here today to try to support these people as well because also with the same token there's a lot of crime happening up and down the country where we're facilitating known terrorists in amongst possibly innocent people you know what I mean so therefore we have got rights to ask you guys swear an oath to serve and protect the people and we have got a right to ask you guys you know what is going on here because as I say it's causing alarm and distress yeah, so in regards to criminal I there's no obviously making unfortunately you commit crime just like members of the public you commit yeah. crime it's not obviously you can have your entitled to your own views yeah. um, it's just for exercising their rights because when people have been alarmed and distressed about something, you go to the police for guidance and you ask questions, you know what I mean? What, what, what is the question, just, just so they can help out? Just basically, because the very presence of these people have been here up and down the country, yep. and I'm aware that there is a, there's been a lot of different instances and stuff that have been committed, but there's like a double whammy here where there's a lot of, kind of people thinking, are these people here because it's a lot of young that male military age guys, there's no, there's very little women and children in amongst them. Is this what this is? Is this going to be a training centre for UN soldiers, basically? Something that we're not aware of at all. You're not aware of at all? No, 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 so that'll put the rest. I say, what I'm going to, I'm going to take your names and badge numbers because for you guys swear on oath, I'm taking it as read that you guys are. are Telling me the truth, I'm telling you the and it will set it will settle people's nerves a bit because there's a lot of people feeling alarmed and distressed about these videos going about that this is the UN army and all the rest. But like I say, it's a double whammy. Where the other side of this is that 
there is crimes being committed by a lot of these people where it's alleged that there's a lot of criminals that have come in here through the, the, the volume of people that are here, that there's been quite a few people here that have not been identified as who they are, and there has been, factually, there's been a lot of crimes being committed up and down the UK. You know what I mean? So that's, I'm talking in a wider thing here. Yeah, but, yeah. but obviously, here and now, I just wanted to ask regarding the UN soldier thing. Like, your understanding is that these are just genuine asylum seekers. Yeah, I understand. It's not really yeah. understanding, yeah. It's not really understanding. Right, okay. Um, and unless you a crime in general, I mean, yeah. just to report it as you would any, a crime in any other part of the country. The crime's been committed yeah. and you're aware of the crime has been committed and unreported. You're more than welcome to phone, obviously, 101 if it's a non emergency and if it's an okay. ongoing emergency, then 999. Um, yeah. In regards to whether there's criminals in there or not, obviously, I can't say that's what there's, the home there's criminals in there, jurisdiction in there. Um, so it's just. Yeah, it's no you guys, it's um, the Home Office that deal with that side there. Yeah, we, we are just here to make sure that the evidence kept peaceful. And, yeah. Um, these guys here may have been here for a, a good few weeks now, I think for July or something. Yeah, no, and we're these, aware of the, the, these guys, as I say, they're peaceful people. They live in the close by community, they're all people of Erskine, and they're very concerned that I would be if it was right on my doorstep as well, whereby there is crime being committed around about here. And that's why these people are here to exercise their rights to protest at the fact that this is happening right on my doorstep and they're no com- comfortable with it. Yeah, yeah, you know and I mean? that's obviously so, they're entitled to that. So you know what I mean? It goes through the correct channels and stuff and it's obviously been set up and it's been going for weeks. So yeah. obviously everyone's entitled to yeah. yeah. This, okay, so. so can you guys recite just your name, your badge, and I'll just for the record the on and for the public record, as I say, just for to just catch that there. So I'm PC Russell and I'm Kilo 338. Uh, PC Jenna, Kilo 334. That's fine guys, that's all I have for you. Thanks very much for your time. Thank you.